it's time to take a look at numbers five through one of my top 10 favorite coin or collections within my stack. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So let's dive right into number five on my list is the American Silver Eagle. But not just one American Silver Eagle. <laughs> but 500. Well, actually there's only 499 in there now since I'm holding this one, right? But yeah, it's the American Silver Eagle. For a coin I never really ever thought I was going to get into or like, it is amazing how much I actually did. And it started with picking up the first couple and then picking up a tube. And then, oh, gee, I got one tube. I wonder what it would take to get another 24 tubes. Well, it took 13 months. We actually gave ourselves 18 months. We did it in 13. And we got it done right as the pandemic was going full force. And we're so glad that we were able to get the box done beforehand. So... The American Silver Eagle deserves number five on my list, not only because I really do like the bullion coin, but the more the merrier. And let's put that 1986 right there in the middle. That's like, that's how we like to do it. All right. Number four on my list is not only just the Peace Dollar, but the Peace Dollar Collection. And I've got the entire date and mint run, mint run set. Well, that's not always the easiest to say. And of course, key dates within this series would be a 1921 high relief. And then, of course, you've got the 1928 right there. The 1934 S is no slouch, especially if you have it in the AU or BU clip. Um, condition that is considered a what do they call it a condition rarity coin I made a you know a few of these just a little bit over a million but the state of their condition is usually not found in the AUBU this is probably if not one of the more expensive coins within this series if you try to get it in a BU state this one is probably fine or extra fine you know, it was the most, it's probably the only one that really is not a BU or AU condition within this set. Other than that, all the other ones, including that 1928, which is a BU. And that Philly's a key one because it is the lowest mintage one of the Peace Dollars. There you go. Number four on my list is not only just the Peace Dollar, but the entire date mint run. Third on my list, well, as many know, I am a Morgan Dollar lover. And if you like Morgan Dollars like I do, how can you not like the Carson City Mint? And while it may be a common year, this one is proof-like. It's going to hit that light up there many times. But this is just a gorgeous coin. That is beautiful. And in order for it to be considered a proof-like, it needs to be that way on both sides. This has not been graded, so there's no guarantee that I'll get a proof-like on it, but what do you all think? I think it's going to get a proof-like. And one day it will be sent in. For now, I'm keeping it in the raw, and it's number third on my list because of Morgan, because it's a Carson City. How can it not be? Second on my list is, hey, surprise, another Morgan and a first year Morgan. Not only a first year Morgan, but a first year Carson City Morgan. And it's also been graded proof like MS63. So if you saw the previous coin before that, you can really think and judge whether or not that one would have gotten proof like if I were to turn it in. I think it's actually in better condition than this proof like at least the reflectiveness of it and the mirroring of it. This one here, you know, is and has been designated a proof-like. It's still beautiful. Mm-hmm. Get that CC up there close enough. 
Yeah, love it. And this is a good way to have a Carson City. We spent a little bit on this. And you probably figured that you would. But, I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's face reveal material within this coin. So I got to watch the way that I hold it. But, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was number two on my list. Winning. Almost feel like I need a drum roll here. We are, and of course, it's another Morgan. Surprise, surprise. Well, I do like my Morgan silver dollars. So, <laughs> is it a surprise to you that they rank number three, two, and one within my stack? No. no. And how can you not like the Redfield story? And I've shown this off a few times, but that's because I just love this coin so much. It will never, this is the one that will be buried in my coffin, although I still want someone to be you know, appreciated of it after I die. So I probably can't be buried in my coffin, but this is the one that I will die with still. And love the toning that's going around there on it. That is definitely coming from the holder, from the Paramount holder. And it has to say from the Redfield collection because they made these Paramount, holder, Paramount holders without that on it. And that means it wasn't from the Redfield. So it has to say from the Redfield. Because I guess they had so many excess cases after they were cases of these after they were done with his little collection underneath his house that they said, hey, we got to use them up another Morgan now, dollars. I think they wanted to capitalize oh. on the look of Oh, that. you can bet. And they were like, uh-huh, we just keep selling other Morgans. And this is an 1879 S, you know, so it's a good one to have. They made a few of these, quite quite a few of those, 1878, 79, 80, 81, 82, and I believe 83 S's. They made quite a bit of them. Once you get to 1884, it starts to get really rare. But, you know, they say the condition on this is an MS-65. Eh, I don't think so. But they do grade these now to where they put the band around the bottom. So you can keep the original case. And that's definitely something I would want to do. Because there's just a whole story about this, a story about the Redfield. How can it not be number one in my collection? There you go. The 1879 Redfield, San Francisco, is my top coin within my collection. Even though it's not the most expensive, it doesn't matter. It's the story behind it that does it for me. It's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.